Thank you for purchasing from Garbage Commander. Happy to bring these videos of how to install our products. Today we're going to install the UBL MT, which can either be bolt mounted or conventionally using the ball hitch. Your hardware packet will include two hooks, which are identical, the rear support uh, bracket, the 12 inch arm for supporting the handle and mounting the hooks, the upright, your ball mounting base, your stiffening washer, and then all the hardware. Along with the PTO, quarter inch PTO is used for the hooks and the 3 8 is going to be the mounting to the base to the ball. What tools you're going to need for this are going to be either socket sets or crescent wrenches or an adjustable open wrench in any combination. They're going to be a 7 16 9 16 and 11 16 So let's get started with the assembly of the arm and the hooks. The support arm will have two, in the, two holes in the face that are used to mount the hooks. The center hole is where we're going to mount it to our upright. The hook combination in this can be either be at a 12 inch distance for the outer one, 9 inch center for the inner, or combination. There's nothing that stops you from going to one out and one in if that's what your handle you know, placement is going to be. So what I recommend is we'll take and just put them on. So you put a quarter inch bolt, hold it, there's a real small uh, return tab on the hook and that will tuck underneath the bottom edge of your uh, support arm. In this demonstration we're just going to go with the 12 inch setting. that tight. Now on the second hook we're going to be using our rear retainer bracket. So we do the same thing, put the screw through the, the face of the hook, mount our hook with the tab underneath, and here we're going to take the support or the retainer bracket and it has an oblong hole on the edge we're going to use. It'll tuck up underneath the bottom part of our support arm. Quarter inch washer, black washer, quarter inch nut, Now we have that done, we can mount it to our upright. Here we're going to be using the 3 8 combination bolt washer, but this one has a neoprene bolt, it has a little gasket in there, and that's used so that it won't come off. So put your bolt, center hole, flip it upside down, I like to just put my finger there, put my washer, because the washer is going to go in between as a pivoting point cushion, take our bracket, the mounting flange, and just simply start our lock washer. This will only go on so far and then it'll start getting super tight. Here's where we're going to use 9 16 tighten this one. You want to get it to where it's tight can still pivot, but it's hard to pivot. It's not real loose, but the can when it's trailing will allow it to move. So we get that nice tight. Now we can start doing our mounting base. With the mounting base, we have two options. We're going to use our 7 16 washer and bolt. And it's going to go through the hole on the top of the uh, 
upright. But in this combination, if we want to use as a bolt-on, we're simply just going to put this in through our mounting uh, lawnmower. Then the support washer stiffener will go up underneath and we'll bolt this in place nice and tight onto the tractor. For most, you're going to use your ball mounting base. This will allow you to hook up to either an inch and seven eighths or a two inch ball. So that just simply drops through like that. The support stiffener, the washer, goes on facing. It's a little off centered, the hole. It'll go on pointed towards the front of the bracket. We're going to use our lock washer. get it tight. Now we're ready to start hauling and now we're ready to mount it to our either 7 8 inch and 7 8 I mean or 2 inch ball. So we just slip behind underneath the ball the pin will go in the rear and just hook it in place and it's all set to go. It will pivot so when you're using ATVs and other ones make sure that it can't bounce back towards the rear tires I would recommend taking it off once it doesn't have a trash can on it for going back and forth um, so we don't have any damage to the product. Again, I want to thank you for purchasing our products. And remember, hashtag Master the Can.